I've been using the action tool on a motorbike, running, hiking, on a drone, swimming, some crazy sports in an England national team football game. And if you know us, you know we have no limits. Oh no, Chiba, what happened? I just fell off the skateboard. Awesome shot, by the way. <laughs> By now you must know all the details and specs because they've been leaked off the action too, but you need definitely some real inside experience. I went a couple of weekends ago to a very special World Cup in France. To be honest, I didn't even know this sport existed. Welcome to the trike world. I met some nice people and they invited me to watch this tournament. So I decided to bring my new action 2 cam and attach it to them. You wanted to see some crazy footage? Well here it is. This is a stress test to see if Rocksteady has been improved and let's see how the new Horizon feature works out. One, two, three, four. You know I'm a motorbike rider, I like the freedom riding, so it's important to me to know if the Action 2 can handle vibrations properly. I attach the Action 2 to a variety of places around me and the bike, and well, these are the results. Plus, let's see if the new image sensor is as good as they say. Yes, we tested this camera to the limit. We compared versus the GoPro 10, the Action 1, the Pocket 2. All those videos are coming in the next hour, so stay tuned, leave the thumb, sub if you're not yet, and see you in the next video too. Let me quickly talk about the new magnetic system. At first, my feeling was a bit insecure because even when I made the unboxing, it all seemed kind of fragile to me and most of the extras I didn't even know how to use. But after weeks testing the camera, I found it to be as solid as a regular screw hold. Plus it's much easier to handle now. I acknowledge DJI looking for a revolutionary system, sales will tell though. But for now, me as a first reviewer, I couldn't be happier. I talk about this more in the comparison versus the GoPro, but what do you guys think about the design of this thing? DJI has become the apple of tech. In this case, when comparing it to a GoPro, it's much more beautiful, well designed, slim and it just looks cool. The magnetic system we just saw is amazing for different purposes. Look at this, you can be vlogging and attach the cam to your chest in 2 seconds. It opens up a new world. This is a sound test of the four built-in mics that the DJI Pocket has included. I don't know if the quality is good or not, I can assume that it is good. You can compare it now to the Sennheiser voice, which is recorded by a decent mic connected to the camera over there. Um, I hope that you 
like it and if let me know if it's good for vlogging or not uh, just put it in the comments by the way guys we just received this dji mic which really looks amazing and interesting here's a quick unboxing stay tuned and sub because we will also be testing it in the next hours for upcoming videos attaching it to the action 2 of course too if this thing is good dji will give us filmmakers an incredible new tool Let me guys, thank you for the support you've given me purchasing my sunglasses. I designed them for people like us. Filmmakers, photographers, travelers and drone pilots. Colorful and made out of natural recycled materials like wood or bamboo. This helps the channel to grow, to rent better equipment, go to better locations. Plus you of course also look cool wearing them. Links in the description. Thanks a lot. It's true that this camera doesn't film in 5K, but it's 4K 120p is pretty astonishing. I'm gonna give this surf skate to Chibo. He's gonna go down the hill, see what happens. It's too dangerous for me. He does the dangerous things. Well guys, if you want to attach the camera to some dangerous places and record some dangerous accidents like Chibo's, know that there is a K-Refresh also. We've never actually recommended it in this channel, but you know, with his action cameras, it's a little bit more dangerous. You may face some trouble. So K-Refresh is an option. Check it out because, you know, you can crash it and they will cover you. This is probably the part of the review that has surprised me the most. Look at this quality at night. And the Rocksteady is still performing super well. I went to watch the England football national team. Yes, there are Foden, Sancho, Grealish and Kane playing. And I also wanted to hear the stereo with some Brit hooligans. Yes, God save the Queen of course. Isn't this test amazing? Listen and watch to some Action 2 performance. Thank you. The small ultralight weight body of the camera is just 55 grams and it's waterproof. But you have a water case in case you want to attach the power bundle. I used it in the pool and look at this results. As I mentioned on the Osmo Action 1 a couple of years ago, the action car market is probably the only market where DJI is not leading right now. This has of course some good and some bad parts. The bad part is of course that you're fighting against a monster named GoPro and the competitivity is pretty hard. The good part is of course that you can take a little bit more risks and be more innovative. The new magnetic systems on the Action 2 are pretty insane. I honestly expected them to be really weak and after more than a month testing this, I just can't go back to all the screw things. Every single part of the footage that you've seen on this review is important to me because I wanted to show that, for example, on the Trike World Cup, there are no really artifacts. The horizon level works pretty awesome as they are constantly tilting their heads in the curves and all that. There are no strange vibrations. The image quality of the motorbike is also impressive and it was important to me to attach the camera to a bunch of places from darker areas to more brighter parts. It's super important and the camera overall handled this pretty good too and what about the sound i'm pretty surprised after i've been editing this video that the quality of the four built-in mics is also pretty decent but what i've told you that has surprised me the most is the night 
footage of this camera. We have a comparison coming up in a couple of hours comparing this Action 2 versus the GoPro 10 and I must say that this camera well, you'll see it for yourself, but we tested it in night. We tested it at low light situations and having a bigger image sensor than the GoPro 10, which is pretty important and nobody is really telling you that and having lower resolution, it makes overall that the quality for me is even better than the GoPro 10. And this is a big step for DJI. It's true, it doesn't shoot in 5K and to some people this may be important, but I must say that the 4K 120p is also pretty good. I mean, it covers the whole range of frame rates inside 4K, which is standard nowadays. I mean, I have 4K screens and everything. And I personally rather have a super good 4K than a not so good 5K. I think that you get my point, right? The ability, of course, to shoot in Cinelag in a very good Cinelag and to apply some LUTs after that. Oh, and something that I don't want to forget. If you do record in vertical with the action to it saves the files automatically in vertical, which is, I don't know, it's just somebody has to do that and it's awesome. So really nothing else to say, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It took me about three days to edit this 11 or 12 minute video. And I can safely say that I'm super happy how it turned out to be. I've been for weeks now traveling to go to, you know, those World Cups to football match between the England national team and Andorra. I've been traveling through the Pyrenees here with my bike, with the car and spent a lot of time with Chivo also here. It's been an amazing journey. I hope that you enjoyed it. Leave the thumb, please, guys. Sub if you're not yet. And we have so many things coming. And remember that in a few days, there's also new stuff from DJI coming. So it's a good point to sub now and, you know, expect the best out of this channel. Nothing really else to say, guys. Always remember to keep calm and talk to you.